Hello, Darkman Doll here. Today I want to come to you with a show for Freeform Dreadlock Talk. Freeform Dreadlock Talk is a show where I share with you the experience I've had with my Freeform Dreadlocks for uh, over 24, 25 years now. It's hard to keep up. <laughs> uh, after a while, it just, it's just a part of who you are every day in and day out. <laughs> so, um, I wanted to talk to you guys about something I recently, recently purchased through a company called Fro Butter. I, I told you guys about the um, black soap that I used through Fro Butter and I really liked it. I just didn't have the funds to buy anything else from them uh, until now. So I bought this stuff called, um, it's called Natty Dread Scalp Stimulator with Moringa Oil. Um, I was interested in it because it has Moringa Oil and other essential oils as well. Um, where we go? Moringa oil. Coconut, so it's got coconut oil, moringa oil, rosemary oil, and tea tree oil. And this is what it looks like. And you can go to the website, uh, it's just fro butter. They're on, uh, I found them on Instagram. And uh, I like I like what they make. I haven't had uh, access to a lot of herbs because I don't have a backyard where I used to grow a lot of the herbs that I use for my hair treatments for my dreadlocks. So that's why I started buying uh, oils that are already pre-made. And uh, these oils, this combination makes sense. The tea tree oil st stimulates the scalp, it's antibacterial. Um, what else was it? Uh, coconut oil. We know the benefits of coconut oil definitely for the hair and the scalp. Some people find that coconut oil can be too thick for their hair. Um, and some just you put it on their scalp for dry scalp. Some use, and a lot of people like rosemary for many reasons. I used rosemary for years because I had a huge rosemary bush. You can see it in my past videos that I have on this channel where um, I would do my rosemary rinses for my dreadlocks through that. And then I ran out of uh, rosemary because I had to cut the, I cut some of it off, but I had to leave that, that rosemary bush behind when we had to leave and move out of the house we were renting, unfortunately. Because that was a beautiful, uh, beautiful bush. It was huge. It was like a tree, like a rosemary tree. Rosemary tree, yeah, it was big. <laughs> But rosemary has been good for me as far as for um, no hair fall. My hair is not my hair wasn't breaking out. I was using the rosemary rinse on my hair almost every day during the summer, and probably about two or three days days a week during the winter and colder seasons, winter and fall. So um, right now, what I got on my hair, I've been using fenugreek, uh, the fenugreek uh, gel. If you don't know about that, you just soak fenugreek seeds, or you can boil the fenugreek seeds in water and then extract the water. The water becomes a gelatinous, gel-like substance similar to flax seeds. I use that on my dreads and it makes them feel really nice and soft and makes them smell like celery. <laughs> it makes them really soft. And the softer and less dry my hair is, the less likely it's going to break and be damaged so I'm happy about that I want to keep the hair and not keep losing it what I'm working on uh, mostly is the back of my head too because uh, that seems to be growing in a lot more healthily um, I had experienced a lot of breakage in the back of my hair head from a lot of things in the past which you can find out through a lot of the videos I've done already when, what are we at? Oh, four minutes okay let me show you the back of my hair so you can see all sides you can see the side and in the back. This is the back of my head. Yeah, it's starting to get more length now that I've been doing a lot of these really extra treatments to it to help repair it uh, from damage. You can damage your dreadlocks so easily by even just with a hairstyle wearing it a certain way. And sometimes it takes a year to repair it, to, to fully be repaired. Especially if you don't know that you're damaging your, your dreadlocks. But these my dreads are so healthy right now. I'm really happy with them. If you see any little bits of white in the back, it's most likely from the fenugreek gel. Some of it is, is still in my dreads, and that's okay. I'll put it on for about a few hours, and then I rinse it off 
with warm water. Um, if you want, you can wash it out, but I just rinse it out. But yeah, I'm, I've been really loving finding these natural treatments to use for my dreads. And my dreads have gotten a lot more length. Uh, and um, the length is a side effect of, of being healthy, of, of doing hardly nothing to your dreadlocks. That's the side effect of, <laughs> you know, being simple. So, show you what it looks like on the inside. I'm just the first time I'm actually looking at this. And it's sealed up. It smells really nice. Some people don't like the smell of, um, of these herbs like rosemary or, um, or tea tree oil. I love it. Oh, that smells nice. And it has something called, and it has moringa oil in it. And, um, I wanted to grab my, my herb book, actually. One of the many herb books that I have. And look, see if I can find moringa oil in this one. This one I've been using a lot, only because I can't find the other ones. <laughs> But yeah, the New Age Herbalist. So let me see. Let me look in here and see what we can find. A um, Moringa oil. I've read about Moringa oil in the past and how good it is for the hair and the scalp. Um, and helps with hair growth. Like if your hair is falling out, um, it's good to apply that to your scalp and massage your scalp with it. Um, let's see. Let me look in the back here. I hope you guys are having a good day today. Hope you're learning something new. Let's see. They do not have Moringa in here. They do have um, Motherwort, but not Moringa. Maybe I can look that up online quick. Let me see. Um, do I have videos? Do I have a silver video loading up on my computer? Okay. Alright. I'll just skip on that. But Moringa oil is definitely a good oil. I've been seeing that a lot coming up in hair products where they are promoting hair growth. You see Moringa oil in there all the time. So uh, I might come at you with another video just separate about Moringa oil. Uh, if you're interested, let me know in the comment section below. And if you use Moringa oil, feel free to let me know if you do and how it helps your hair. Specifically people with dreadlocks. Uh, so this is saying that you can use it um, every day. It helps to simulate, it's saying, infuse your locks with nu nutrients from the Moringa tree that helps to heal dry scalp while stimulating growth. So it says you can use applicator tip to apply to scalp, massage into scalp, use daily for benefits. So I'm going to do that now. <laughs> I already have an oil that I've been using um, for hair growth called Wild Growth Hair Oil. Um, I'm running low on it, so I decided to try this. So I'm just gonna, what I do when I put the oil in, I just apply it to my scalp like that. I don't, because I have free foreign dreadlocks, I'm not gonna part it because I don't, <laughs> you know what I mean? There's no parts. I just kind of go in the areas that I think would need more help. And I think the back of my head needs the most help as far as that goes. And the front of my hair, too, to make sure my hairline stays intact. <laughs> because with having menopause, I have been uh, experiencing um, some dryness at my hairline a lot. And in the middle of my head and on the sides. So um, that's where it needs it the most. So I'm just going to massage it into my head. So do you guys massage oils into your scalp? Some people don't feel as though they need oils in their scalp, and that's okay, because I was one of those people, and I didn't need it, so I didn't use it. So use whatever you need, is what I have to say about the freeform dreadlock journey. But what I do have to say also about it is that even if you don't use oils on your scalp, giving yourself a good scalp massage can do wonders for your peace of mind. If you're having a stressed out day, somebody's getting on your nerves, come home and massage your scalp. And I can use the help with my arms, <laughs> work out my arms. But yeah, um, it feels delightful. And you're not scratching your scalp, you're not digging into it, you're just lightly putting the pads of your fingers onto your scalp and letting your scalp feel stimulated and relaxed.
So yeah, that's pretty much how I massage my scalp. And I also go upside down to the inverted thing where I put my head upside down. I'm gonna stand up and do it. I put my head upside down and massage it that way. Plus it gives you like a nice flow to the scalp, your head, when you are putting your head down in this way. It feels really good. It'll help stimulate the back of my head where I need the most growth on my hair. So, yeah. <laughs> now it's sticking up. <laughs> but yeah, and there's also this, this yoga pose that's really good for that. Standing forward, I think the standing forward band where you do this. And then you just bend forward down to your toes and hold the toes as long as you can while breathing. And that pose actually is great for the hair and scalp because of the um, the blood flowing to this, to your your head and your scalp and helping to stimulate those hair follicles so that your hair will remain healthy as you want it. <laughs> so yeah, thanks for joining me today. Just talking about this new oil I bought code. It's, by, it's called Natty Dread Scalp Stimulator with Moringa Oil. And it's by the company Fro Butter. So go check out Fro Butter. They're on Instagram. They've got their own website under just the name Fro Butter. Uh, is there the website name behind? on the packaging here? No, the name's not on the... the website's not on the packaging, but Fro Butter, check them out. Um, they're nice. Um, very good smell. Woo, that is beautiful. I love it. I love the smell of that. I think that must be mainly the Moringa oil, but in combination with the tea tree oil and the rosemary, it's also serving... when you put these kind of oils on your scalp as well, it also serves as aromatherapy. So if you're having a hard day, some of these herbs are great for your peace of mind. So, yeah. Alrighty, guys. God, this smells so heavenly good. It smells similar to... Now, I'm starting to think that... This, this gave me an idea. I, um... I had purchased this, um... What was it? It was a shampoo, conditioner, and a hair oil a long time ago when I had a fro. When I didn't have dreadlocks. And it smells, it smells just like this. And I'm thinking maybe that, that oil, that hair oil had Moringa oil in it. So maybe, it was by African Pride. It wasn't the African Pride in that jar where it has, it's petroleum based. It wasn't petroleum based. It was in a bottle, in a plastic bottle. And it was called African Pride. And I don't know. And the African Pride, I was using the African Pride shampoo and conditioner all at the same time. That's how I kept my fro looking good when I had an afro and didn't have a um, have dreadlocks. But um, yeah, it smells the same. This is so delightful. <laughs> I love it. So far so good. So this is my first day using it. I don't think it's going to be anything bad that will happen because it's all natural pretty much. The only thing bad could happen is if I use too much of it and then get a build up. So, um, just know how much you're using on your hair and scalp. They say you can use it daily. Maybe you won't use it daily. Maybe use it every other day or whenever you feel you need it. Like when your scalp is dry and itchy. Um, usually when someone's scalp is itchy, there may be a cause for cleansing the scalp. So instead of just putting topical stuff on top of it, you might need to cleanse your scalp. So think of that too. And you may have to cleanse out your diet too of what you're eating. I have a, um, I have an addiction to wheat. I've been eating a lot of wheat, wheat breads and all that. And what does that do? It make, breaks my skin out, makes my skin really blotchy and patchy. I get rashes here and there. So I've been weaning myself off of the wheat once again. I was off of the wheat for quite a while, but now I had to get off of it again because my skin gets really itchy. And especially with menopause, my skin gets naturally dry right now anyway. So, uh, yeah. This stuff's great. I love it. I love the way it smells. Uh, check it out if you like. If you have uh, any questions about this product, 
feel free to go and check out the website because I'm not the one who made this and I'm not sponsored by this company like I said before but it's really nice very very um, light the oil is very light surprisingly enough very light oil but you don't need much of it either and man my hair smells nice and right here the froey part where my new growth is up in here it's feeling really soft and springy and <laughs> like little horns in there <laughs> but yeah it's it's feeling really nice um lately i've just been wearing uh i've been wearing this hat a lot uh to keep my hair out of the way um just like this and then i'll do a pseudo bang <laughs> and then that's how i've been wearing my hair and then if i want these the longer locks to be protected i just pull it back and tie it tie it back in a ponytail with one of the locks like that so that's what I do been doing lately or <laughs> or because it's been hot and I don't like wearing a hat all the time I'll just uh, I'll just pull it all back into one ponytail using one of my locks sometimes I use a rubber band or a scrunchie but you know but yeah <laughs> I love having these locks, they're beautiful, and I like to show my appreciation towards these locks by putting beautiful things on them and treating my locks with respect, and by buying this oil, I've done that. <laughs> I love this stuff, it's really nice. So um, let me know if you've tried it or if you tried something like this. I know somebody recently said, you put so much stuff on your hair. No, I don't, I really don't. I really don't put a ton on my hair. As I said before, I've done more to my hair when I had a when I had an afro than I did to it now. So way less, way less maintenance than than uh, back then, for real. Alrighty, guys, thanks for joining me today for this little review on this product by uh, Fro Butter called Natty Dread. It's really nice. I like the way it smells. Uh, they say you can use it daily. Um, I probably won't need to use it daily, but yeah, it just depends on if it's if you can't handle it. Um, my hair drinks these oils up; it loves it. So um, I may just use it every day. Um, it feels really good, and just massaging my scalp feels good. I've already gotten so much new growth growing in from using the uh, wild growth hair oil. I mean, in the back, it's insane amount of hair, uh, new growth. Look at the back, you see? Can you see it? That fro in the back? <laughs> yeah, so um, I just thought I'd give this one a whirl because it, it says it's a black owned uh, company as well and who better would know about your own hair than somebody who has hair similar to yours. So yeah, with that said, thanks for joining me guys. Thanks for subscribing, liking, and sharing my videos with your friends and family. And thank you for your kind comments. Leave your comments down below. Like I said, let me know if you've tried this. And if you'd like to donate to my channel, you can go to my PayPal, Google Pay, and my Cash App, or my Cash App. <laughs> In exchange for your donation, I can create a one-of-a-kind piece of artwork for you, or I can create a video based on a topic of your choosing. With that said, brightest blessings to you all. I'll see you soon. And with the free foreign dry like journey, journey, just keep it simple. Simple. I mean, this wasn't hard. You just put a few drops of that on your scalp and massage it and you're good to go. And it's worth taking that time out to do something special like that for yourself. Especially if you are having some problems with your scalp. Um, I didn't put anything like this on my scalp for ages until um, I noticed that I was having a lot of problems. Dry hair and all that with menopause too. So... There you go. Use what works. Alrighty, guys. I will see you soon. Keep it simple. Keep it clean. And <laughs> continue to be your own creative self. <laughs>